everyone. This is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Well, on my previous video, I was discussing, doing an introduction about overcoming racism. Well, we have never thought, uh, at least I've never thought in my lifetime, that I would see such uh, uprising and protests and all types of rioting and looting. But you know, this is an opportunity that God wants us to just come close to Him. Well, what I am really happy about, I am definitely for the protests. Especially, I enjoy and I love seeing um, the Caucasian race stepping up, other races uh, stepping up to support people of the minority. And you know, God wants us to have life on this earth. He gave us human life and he wants us to live the fullness of our life out. And no other human being has the right to take that life. First of all, if you look in the Ten Commandments, you will see the word of the Lord says, Thou shalt not commit murder. So, God can give us life for it to be taken through murder. And so, I'm happy to see that so many people are supporting people of color. So, let's look at the definition of racism. The definition for racism is prejudice, discrimination, antagonism directed against a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group, typically one that is a minority or marginalized. And also, let's look at the word uh, bigotry. The definition of bigotry is prejudice in the state of being intolerant. An example of bigotry is disliking people because just because of their culture. Now prejudice, this word means preconceived opinions that is not based on reason or actual experience. And when I look at this word prejudice, uh, and it talks about preconceived opinion, you know, the word of the Lord admonishes us as believers in Christ to take our thoughts captive and to bring and to bring them into obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the enemy, uh, and not only just the enemy, but people that within our very own families can influence us in such a, a way that causes discrimination within our hearts. So we have to be aware um, of the things that we allow to be influenced in our hearts and in our spirit. Taking captive our thoughts and bringing them into obedience to the Lord. You know, um, the scripture says, I definitely believe, you know, that we are in the last day. The scripture says, but understand this, that in the last days there will be, there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unpeaceable, and slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but, then, but denying his power. You know, I want to go back and talk about a, a few of these words. For example, heartless. When a person is heartless, that means their conscience have become hardened. Uh, uh, some people would say jaded. Uh, unpeaceable. There's there's no way you can bring uh, them to a place of reconciliation or slanderous without self-control. When you think about this cop, this particular cop that murdered uh, George Floyd, he definitely fit, fit the description of being brutal and heartless. And so we don't want to walk around with our hearts that are jaded, a heart that is heartless, callous, but we want to make sure that our hearts are surrendered and submitted to the Lord God Almighty. And you know, I want to say to the young people, yes, it's good to protest, but we need to be mindful and remember 
that we're not fighting against flesh and blood. You know, there's an evil spirit at work in this. So we have to um, also contend with the spiritual realm, allow us, allow the Holy Spirit to teach us how to pray and take authority over the evil spirits that are at work in individuals. And you know, the scripture says we fight not against flesh and blood, but we fight against principalities. And so there are spirits, definitely there are spirits that are set up in our government system um, that causes um, racism, that causes bigotry. Uh, you know, people, there are people that embrace uh, white uh, supremacy. So we have to be on the lookout and don't think that you're just fighting flesh and blood human beings, but we are fighting a spiritual warfare. So I caution you that when you go out to um, do these protests, be very prayerful before you go out. Um, be wise, sit God's wisdom and pray for divine protection because you're going to encounter other policemen that will also try to take your life, be brutal against you, so you want to be wise in these things. Ephesians chapter 4 verse uh, 17 through 19 says, So this I say and affirm together with the Lord, that you walk no longer just as the Gentiles also walk in the futility of their mind, been darkened in their understanding, excluded from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the hardness of their heart. And they, having become callous, have given themselves over to sensu sensuality for the practice of every kind of impurity with greediness. And you know, a people that that is of the world. They have not surrendered their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, this, the spirit that's behind murder, it comes, it doesn't happen all of a sudden, but that spirit somehow has influenced that person and that person has been entertaining that spirit of murder. And so it, it um, that spirit of mur murder enters a person's heart and they, actually carried out committing a murder. So let's look at 1 John chapter 3, verse 15. It says, anyone who hates a brother or sister is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life residing in him. So we have to be careful about what we allow to influence our mind, influence our spirit. So we want to be obedient to the Lord, taking captive our thoughts and bringing them into obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ.